Lindsay here from Pull My Four and Camping Channel. And in today's video, I am doing a video on my granddad's 1993 Turner Land Cruiser 80 series. Now he bought the 80 because, um, as you know, we're playing at Kate York trip when I get my P flights, and um, he wanted to come up. He wanted to come along and join in on the fun. So I bought this based on an 80 series. So today, I'm going to run you through it, see what the big girls like, and I'm just show you all about it. So um, let's do this. Right here, so at the front of the Big 80 series, this is where I'm going to start. Front, 2JM, alloy vulva, pretty solid. We've got a set of thunder, LED driving it, lights, 7 inch, super bright, awesome lights. Oricom, uh, an Oricom ANU 100 antenna, fed up to a GME TX3500. Um, we have got a winch, this is a winch compatible bar. And a winch is going to be going in here soon. But um, there's, there's not much up the front end really. But it's not a lot on many cars. But um, this is the front of the beast. So next up, we'll show you around the side. Rightio. So around to the side of the 80 series. We've got a snorkel. This is just a eBay cheeky snorkel. Uh, we've got a set of Rene no, Radar Renegade All Trains in a sort of 30 inch tyre um, it's fairly standard for suspension and tyres and that that's got a good set of tyres on it apart from that, there's not much, we've got some fin striping and um, yeah that's about it, we got factory turner rims so next I'll show you around the back so right out the back of the 80 series this is going to get our turret and kit out we'll probably either get a set of rear drawers or a couple of space cases and it's going to get a fridge in the back as well. So up the back, we've got a character dent here. So we'll open it up. It's full of stuff at the moment. So this is going to get a touring fit out in the back here. Um, for now, pretty standard. I'll show you a video of when this gets the touring kit out. And it's just starting to rain. Um, so I'll show you videos, but for now, pretty standard. Next up, we'll show you in the interior before we show you under the bonnet. Right now, under the bonnet of the big girl, first thing you'll notice is if I can get the bonnet on then, bonnet is on struts. Right now, under the bonnet of the big girl, we've got the 1HZ non turbo diesel. And no, it's not getting a turbo anytime soon because as I said in the Hilux video, reliability is decreased and that's one thing you don't want to lose, especially with the HZ engine. We've got an aftermarket radiator in here. It's a cheap Chinese one. We'll, we'll see how that goes. It's only just been put in. It's starting to bucket rain now. Um, so yeah, we've got the one HZ. Uh, we've got a, an exhaust coming off it. I don't know what diameter that is. But apart from that, that's mainly under the bonnet right here so I'll show you inside the big girl so inside I'll turn them off we've got aircon which is a good thing very awesome to have okay we'll turn that down so we've got got aircon we've got power steering makes it quite comfortable electric windows which is a good feature well yeah a good feature I'd say five speed manual Low range gearbox, you've got a sub tank, a um, alt altitude meter up here, and sub tank oh. gauge, sorry. Um, we've got a Sony MEXN4200BT, which is a very good stereo. Down here, you've got the GMA TX3500S, great little UHF radio, and that is about it, I think. Oh, another thing we've got. Venture King's canvas seat covers. Nice and hard wearing. Right here, so that is a quick overview of my granddad's 1993 80 series. You are going to see this on a few four-wheel drive trips. A Cape York one. I'm going to do it to Kennel that scene. And a few other sort of areas around here. So yeah, as I said, he bought it so he can go forward driving with this, joining on the fun. 
and yeah, so that's an overview of the 80 series. I hope you liked it. I like this car. I've got a bit, I do like this car. It's a bit of a beast. So, um, yeah, it's a fairly tidy 80 series. There's not no rust or anything in it. Got a few paint marks and scratches, but a bit of character. So, that is the beast of an 80 series. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.